The Zach's rank, value, momentum, growth and income all factor into Zach's rank buys. There are a couple of stocks showing upward momentum that our momentum strategist, Dave Bartosiak, wants you to know more about. So we invited him in to talk about them. Uh, it's just as simple as that, right? Good to be here, Terry. Well, Flexion Therapeutics, a uh, pharma company, is one of those stocks. That's right. They're, they're one of those stocks that uh, it, it is as X rank number one, strong buy. Mm -hmm. So analysts are bullish on it, but they're not exactly making money yet. Wait, wait a minute. How can you take talk about stocks not making money yet. It's about momentum, Terry. So as long as the stock price is going up, that's all we're really concerned with. And at uh -huh. least we're, we're turning the corner, right? We're, we're going in the right direction. Okay. So we'll we've take seen... Take word for it. Yeah. We've seen some, we've seen some revisions on this stock uh, as of late. So we went from an expectation that they were going to lose, you know, 56 cents per share. Mm -hmm. Now they're only going to lose 46 cents per share. So that's that's positive there. Okay. Um, but there is going to be hopefully a big turnaround in the second half of this year, as they've got one drug that the the Department of Justice gave them a two million dollar grant for because they're hoping this is in phase two trials right now. They're hoping that it'll be able to help veterans with knee pain. Oh. They have an injectable. Uh, medication that can help them with that. Then they have another drug that's in phase three that they hope they can start making that, that will kind of push through in uh, the fourth quarter of this year. So as a result, the stock price has been looking pretty decent lately. Um, if you take a look at it, we bounced off a bottom down in the end of April, beginning of May, 15, 16 bucks per share. Since then, there's been some decent momentum. A couple of days ago when the market wasn't doing so well, we had a huge volume day on this. And the stock's trading 21.89 right now, mm -hmm. so starting to move in a real positive direction. The commodity channel index looks like it's turning back over after getting a little bit negative. So all kind of positive momentum plays going on right now with this stock. All right, that other company is KBR Incorporated, uh, global engineering construction company. Right. So this one does make money. So there's a plus. Well, oh, that's good. Yeah. But there's still a turnaround story with this too. Um, they had some board members that were removed because of poor performance mm. um, in prior prior quarters. So now they're starting to move past that history here. Also, is X rank number one strong buy due to the recent estimate revisions. Mm -hmm. um, plus, they had a large earnings surprise with last quarter coming in at 33 cents versus expectations down at 15 cents. So, some real positive things moving moving forward for them. They like uh, they like the growth prospects here uh, for them as well. Uh, take a look at the chart, though. Again, we have a good good scenario here. This thing bottomed out in the end of March, early April. About fourteen dollars per share has been on a huge run all the way up to nineteen fifty basically right now. It's tucked down below the twenty-one day moving average a little bit here, but with the market beating on everything, you know, earlier in the week, mm -hmm. um, that's okay. It's not it's not horrible weakness. It didn't uh, underperform relative to its peers really. Um, kind of got beat up with everybody else. Baby with the bathwater sort of scenario here. So I think you can peck at these and uh, make a little money over the short run. All right. And we're talking about these on July the 1st for yep. people who want to follow along on the calendar. Do you own either one? Neither one. All right. Thanks for that. Check out more stock picks and stock picking strategies on our website, zax.com. If you're not there already, you can read what Dave writes about companies that make money and maybe some that don't make money over there. If you're watching this video on YouTube, of course, you can always subscribe to our videos. And you can even leave a comment, but go easy on Dave because his ego is fragile. With Dave Bartosiak, I'm Terry Ruffalo.